Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This is a 2021 prediction for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to start by pulling an overall energy for the year. We'll move into love, money, career, and finances. And then finally, we will end with luck. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Aquarius 2021. Please give me an overall energy for Aquarius for the year 2021. Overall energy for the year for Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, we have two cards here. Wow. It says cut the cord. Okay. So there's something you got to let go of. <coughs> you got to rid. Excuse me. There's something you need to just um, remove yourself from this year. And then it says hello from heaven. Oh, gosh. There's going to be some kind of balance. Something that some of you are connected to is making you heavy. Because it's like cut the cord and then hello from heaven. It's like that's when you'll feel light as a feather. So they're they're trying to make you lighter this year. By getting you to release those things that are heavy and holding on to you. Okay, so that's the overall energy. Let's go ahead and get started here. We'll start with love. I'm using the after tarot deck for love, okay? Aquarius, love for the year 2021, please. What can Aquarius expect in love for the year 2021? Okay, <laughs> you are definitely being tested here. Uh, you're going to be dealing with um, trying to figure out what's best for you. Okay, so mature decisions here. We have nine of wands, but I'm going to keep going. I'm feeling like you all are going to have to set boundaries and stick to them. Uh, like tightly. Oh man, yep. Uh, we have Knight of Swords here. Definitely cutting things out. Uh, in romance. I mean, look at the way this heart just went all over there. Some of you, you're gonna have to fight for yourself. Fight for what you believe in. I I just see setting strict boundaries and fighting to the death of you to make sure that they're not penetrated. Okay, uh, this gives you a new stable foundation in love. Some of y'all, all you need to do is cut out certain uh, things you're doing. Wow. Um, the way you approach relationships, that's being put on trial this year. They're telling you to set up stricter boundaries because it's like a stronger foundation when it comes to love will come in once you start cutting things out, cutting out the the crap. Um, stop letting things slide, you know. It's like putting your foot down. Uh, some of you, you're just going to have to be meaner uh, is what I'm getting. Like people need to say, wow, you're, you're mean now. My goodness. Y'all are fixed signs. They're saying make a decision and stick to it. That's what I'm getting. Okay, yeah, your overall energy and love is brand new energy, brand new. Yeah, hang off that cliff 
because some of you guys are even scared to walk this far off the cliff. You're, you, you're like rooted in um, trying to stay safe. Um, it's like knowing what you need to do, but because you're afraid of someone's reaction, you don't do it. And you call that keeping the peace, but they're saying that this is keeping you on shaky ground when it comes to romantic situations. Yeah, it's like removing yourself from something that's uh, leaving you empty handed. Say sayonara. It's like, yeah, walking away from bad habits when it comes to love. Some of you, someone's going to abruptly. It's going to be over. I see like a heated argument and then over with just like that. And um, it's going to happen in a way that some of you don't expect. And I see you still trying to hold on to it. Okay, nope. They're saying keep it moving, the chariot here. We got the chariot. They're telling you to keep it moving. It's like something's going to come up that's going to cause an emotional reaction from you. <coughs> Excuse me. But... This is how you propel forward here. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer. Why is the chariot here? This is how you propel for Wow. Holding on. I see a lot of you holding on. Nine of Wands. But they're saying you're holding on because of deceptive thoughts. Uh, there's going to be like a painful ending. Let it end. That's what I'm hearing. Listen, all these swords are here. They want you to use them. Let it in. Let it in. Uh, yeah, you're trying to avoid like a difficult ending, but that's uh, they're trying to get you to move forward so that you can have this. Okay, all right. New beginning in love here, but it does require you to let something go. That's what I'm getting. Okay, that's when you're going to be living the good life. This is when I see you celebrating. I see you lighter. I see you having a good time. Uh, some of you are going to be single this year. I see you going out on dates. Yes, look at you. This is your year, the star. We are in the age of Aquarius, guys. Um, They're trying to set you free. I do see you light as a feather. Dancing. See you going out for drinks. Socializing. Having a life again is what I'm seeing, the star. The star. See? Oh, yes, I do see single. I see y'all being single this year. And enjoying life and just doing what you want without restrictions. I see you moving on. Some of y'all may be moving to a whole different state, city, country. I do see uh, letting go, moving on from deceptive things in your past. Things that are just not working. That you are still trying to make it work. Uh, relationships that... Is just not the best for you. See you walking away. Yeah. So it's going to be hard for some of you. Okay. Because there's some sadness. I keep seeing empty cups. I see empty cups. Some of y'all are trying to hold on to something that's. They toppled over here. It just doesn't do it for you. I, I, they're trying to get you to a, another space. I see a lot of you becoming single this year. Okay. When it comes to. Um. Yeah, relationships. Uh, they're trying to get you to cut the cord. Wow, look at that. Yes, do your own thing. Oof. Show yourself that you appreciate yourself. How about that? Okay. How about that? Focus on building your own independence. Uh, I do see a lot of you going out, having a good time. Yeah, so let me let me keep going here. Nine of Cups. Wow. We got two of Cups. It's like leaving on good terms, wishing each other well. Like, listen, we tried, but this doesn't work. It's like all these empty cups. Some of you are going to be letting go of someone that you really care about. It's hard to walk away from. It's like releasing them. Y'all holding on tight. What is going on? This is someone that, yeah, even as you are saying your final goodbyes, I still see you holding on tight. It's just the best thing to do. 
each of you taking a cup and moving along. Yeah, this is going to be hard for many of you. Another nine. A relationship is going to meet its end. I'm going to lay two more cards here. Mm -hmm. And healing from this. You're going to be doing some healing. These swords are no longer piercing the heart. They have been removed, bandaged, so that you can start the healing process. Some of you will be wounded here. Okay. This is where your stability comes in. Uh, this is where your stability comes in. This is where you feel more at peace. You feel more secure, more stable at, in, um, at home, in your life in general. This is a year they want you. Those of you who feel like your relationship uh, defines you. Mm -mm. They, they're gonna, they, you need to cut that cord. Some of you, your security comes from a relationship. That's a problem. That's a problem. They're moving you away. Some of y'all are definitely moving. I see I'm moving away from relationships this year. I do. I see trying. I do, but I see a lot of disagreements. Um, it's just not being fulfilled, wanting more. So it's like they're sending you along your way so you can go get your ten, your, your ten of cups here. Uh, I mean, these are empty cups. It's like, go look, go look in the cups. There's nothing in there. It's your time. You got to remain optimistic. Show yourself some love here. Start building um, for yourself. It's going to be a year of you. This is a year of you. We have all these nines. Nine of wands. Two of the nine of pentacles. And then the nine of swords here. It's, it's a year things end for you guys. When it comes to relationships, there's going to be some ending. So that you can heal. And they can send you along your way to your actual soulmate. And I see some of you fighting this tower. I do. I see you trying to fight it. It's in reverse. Uh, trying to f what you're trying to fight is really the healing process. Um, so this is going to be that year. They need you to cut the cord from and the codependency, thinking you need a person to feel secure. Cut these cords. But I do see I'm moving away from a relationship. And that's when things get better in your life. I mean, we do have Ten of Cups here. They're trying to get you to that Ten of Cups. And many of you need to understand that you get your Ten of Cups, not because you have a person, but because you are giving yourself attention. You're showing yourself that you love your yourself. You, you That's what you're doing. Okay? Okay. And that's what some of y'all want anyway. That is your wish fulfillment. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and get into the money, finance, and career for you all. Money, finance, career, 2021. We have the sun. Wow. Wow. You have the opportunity to be very successful this year. Very successful. You just got to let the... <laughs> There's something you're going to have to let go of. Ooh, you got to let something in first. Let me keep going. You got to let it in. King of Swords, they're trying to get you to cut things out. Wow. Stan All right. You need to really be in your element, Aquarius. 
serious mode. Okay? <laughs> Start working on your own thing. Eight of coins. Wow. This is actually really good. Okay, you become successful when you start learning a trade, a skill that resonates with you. And uh, some of y'all are in some kind of work situation. You no longer like it, but you, you're trying to avoid having to leave. Wow, the star. You're here. You're the overall energy. You getting on your life's purpose. Wow. Uh, it's calling for some of y'all to leave behind a work situation you don't like and go and start your own thing okay three of coins creative projects your, your message is flowing so i'm gonna keep going four of swords separation removing yourself from a location a situation you don't like okay i see a lot of you um leaving your current work situation yes that's when you get your ten of coins this is when you get your ten of coins all right I'm getting a certain pattern here. Yes. Queen of Cups. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling someone else. I'm feeling someone else. It's like uh, some of you guys, there's some a relationship partner that is, yeah, a new one that comes in when you get on the right. Wow. Some of you, you're going to be meeting somebody new as soon as you uh, get on the right path. When it comes to work, career, when you get on that right path, you meet somebody new. Someone who's, they express to you how they feel. Uh, they make you feel important, I'm hearing. Some of y'all are calling in your soulmate after you heal three of swords. So after, once you start doing what it is you love to do and you make a career out of that, you, that's your healing. That is your healing. That heals you. This will actually bring in a new person in your life. And it brings in a lot of abundance for you. Three of Wands. Oh my God. Y'all message. Y'all message. Y'all have a really good message. Your ship's coming in. I see a lot of you actually building some kind of enterprise for yourself. The healing needed to happen. Three of Coins. Three of Swords. Three of Wands. Three, three, three here. You, uh, you all. There's going to be some kind of... um project you work on is going to help other people. I see you working with people. So some of you will be working with someone. Wow, this is actually good. Uh, three of Wands here. Reason to celebrate. Huh. Uh, letting go of those negative attachments. That's what you're going to be celebrating. Once you reach to this Three of Wands, that means you have conquered that double energy. Look at the bottom. Three of Pentacles, three of coins here. Then we have the sun as your overall. This is going to be a good year to implement things. Make sure you're uh, paying attention to signs, especially from your divine inner wisdom. It's in reverse. <laughs> This couldn't be any more clear. If there's something you're trying to implement in your life, right now is the time to do it. This year is the time to do it. Take advantage of the energies here, guys. You're going to have to take advantage of the energy here. Ace of Wands, the Sun, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. You have a lot of one energy. It's like starting from scratch, but this time it's going to be built strong. Some of y'all are being called to um, to do your own thing. It's like your own business. That's where your success comes in. Eight of coins. Eight of coins. Yeah. There you go.
go again. Y'all are being called to really do what you need to do. <laughs> yep. <laughs> An ace. Another one card. Um, that's when your breakthroughs happen. And here you are again. Oh my God. Y'all are all over y'all reading. This is definitely King of Swords. They're trying to put you in the right energy. The stars twice. King of Swords twice. This all represents you. All of these are your cards, your energies. Cut them cords. Cut them cords from negative work environments. That doesn't help you guys. They're moving you away from a work situation. And and for some of y'all, it's a mentality about work. It's a mentality about career. This is you. I'm actually, um, I feel like I need to tell you congratulations. Then you got this 10 of coins, and making enough to leave some behind. This is what I'm getting, y'all. This is really good. I mean, the sun card in itself is good. But yeah, I see uh, that they're trying to push you to go do a more creative project. And once you're able to do that, I see major breakthroughs. And I see major inspiration. Y'all got, yeah, y'all got really good cards. But I do see a separation from something. Okay. All right. So this year is going to be some breakthroughs when it comes to work, career, and finance. And it's going to be very beneficial for you. Very beneficial. All right. This, this energy, once it's gone, let it go. Don't let it back in. All right. Let's get into luck for the year. Of expect in luck for the year 2021. <laughs> Queen of Autumn, awesome. I feel like a stable energy. I see you letting go of belief system that was keeping you in an unstable place in your life. Wow, the sun is here again. I'm telling y'all, this is going to be a really good year for y'all. I'm going to keep going. Princess Spring is going to require you to be taking the necessary action though. I, I still feel the need to keep going. The chariot. <laughs> move on. Move forward. Cut the cord. Success comes in. If you're able to do that. Okay. And renewal. Nice. This is good. They're trying to actually give you opportunities. Don't miss them. For summer. And then the magician is here. Not surprised. You can do anything. That's what the card says. And you got four major arcanas here. I really hope that you guys see what I see here for you guys. This is actually a big deal. Uh, this is a very good year for you all. Okay, potentially, for those of you who are taking the action, and honestly, you should already be doing something that's working towards uh, your success. Okay, immediate action. So those of you 
who take advantage of this. You have um, the ability to become whatever you want, to do whatever you want this year. You can do anything. You can do anything. You can take charge of your life and manifest what you need to be a success. It's like success. It requires you to be doing something, though. This is chariot. Uh, this is whatever you've gone through, especially if it's been very emotional. They want you to transmute that energy into force, life force, into drive, ambition, into uh, inspiration and go through a renewal. Review the past and the present so that you can plan for a bright new future. This is judgment energy. Uh, this is a spectacular spread. Honestly, what I can say is you all are very lucky this year. If you're able to remove yourself from those thoughts that tells you you're stuck to a situation, that's what's going to be anyone's downfall. Okay, that is. That's going to be uh, anyone who's not able to take advantage of this energy. Aquarius, if you're listening to this and you don't, um, this does not become your truth. It's because you, you remain stuck to something. You didn't cut the cord. Because heaven is saying hello to you. It says hello from heaven. So it's like heaven is saying hello to you. Like, come here, come to me. But if you're heavy, if you're not as light as the feather in this photo, if you're heavy, if you're holding on to things, if you can't let go of things that don't work anymore, if it doesn't work, why are you still holding on to it? Honestly, that's like a very simple question. If it no longer works, why do you think you need to stay with it? Like, ask yourself that for anyone who's going through any kind of um, in your head. I can't let go of this. I need to stay. Ask yourself why. Because some of you are going to be so distracted for a cup that you miss an opportunity. It says being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity, taking something or someone for granted. There's an opportunity being presented and many of you, you're gonna take it for granted. You're gonna be like, oh yeah, this is just, just a reading. That's not gonna be for me. No, okay. I'm actually sitting here thinking, do I know any Aquariuses? Because this is a beautiful spread. So stability, your first card, Queen of Autumn, trying to give you stability in your life. Uh, this also means that the things around you, you can use it to your benefit. This is having the resources and the practical mind to use them. Take charge. Go, go, go. I'm feeling, I'm hearing. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Chariot. It's movement. Remove yourself from being stuck. That's when the renewal happens and you get your plans. They work out perfectly. The sun. Okay. We're going to get into the extended where I look at, um, I redo all spreads, love, career, and finance, as well as luck, and see what aspect was not shown, okay? I'm going to ask for a different aspect, okay? Something you might not be considering. And then we do the overall underlying energy. This was the overlying energy. We're going to do the underlying, which is an energy that does affect you, but you don't even think it does, Okay. All right, so after this, there is a preview of the extended. There's also a timeline report uh, example. And the timeline report is uh, periods in your life this year or events in your life that you will experience. And it's broken down by periods and dates. Okay, so it's specific for your date of birth. So it's specific for you, but it's a very helpful tool. And I talk a little bit about that after this, okay? All right, so I'm leaving it here. Those of you who follow me on Patreon, uh, the dailies, I recommend everyone, if you're able to, to check out my dailies. They're very helpful. Those of you who follow me on Patreon, you're already, um, you're already getting those, which is good. And those are very helpful. So I do recommend that you all check those out. Okay. All right. So thank you.
Um, this is a beautiful year for you all, Aquarius. Take advantage, okay? We are in the age of Aquarius. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Here is a sample of the timeline report. So this one is specifically for 2021, but it can be done for any year. I'm just using any name, any date of birth here. Now, uh, it will include your birth card. Also, I would include the planetary ruling card. These are based off of the regular playing cards, but the accuracy is phenomenal. The information will be specific for each person because it is specified based on your birthday. So it is not based on signs. It's not based on any groups. When you place the order, I ask for your date of birth, uh, month, day, and year and the report will be specific for you. So if you look at this, it actually will list the months and the dates, what you will experience between those periods, and uh, the report will give you for the whole year of 2021. So it's a really good tool to let you know what to expect, what's coming up, uh, certain things you can avoid, uh, and it's very specific and it's accurate. The information comes from a very ancient and highly revered mystical science that originated before the days of early Egypt. So its exact origins are unknown, but the accuracy speaks for itself. The information it will give you will be timely and practical, and it's pertaining to the events and experiences that you're currently going through. It's average about 10 page long, and it basically goes through the beginning of the year all the way through the end of the the end of the year and uh it's a very helpful tool okay so the sample is also available on my website if you want to take a better look at this but it's a really good tool for those of you who are interested so that's basically it if you are interested in more information pertaining to the timeline report, the information is in the description box. Hi Priestess. Oh, there's some things that's going to happen. We'll see if they reveal it, but there's some things you're unaware of that's going on. When it comes to career, finance, business, there's some things you are not aware of yet. It's hidden. This may be intentionally, but let's take a look and see what else comes out. Some of y'all are going to get cut this year. Queen of Swords, that sword is up. Some of you, you're going to be losing your job this year. And this is you being terminated. I see you being cut. So Okay, so let me keep going. Ooh, it's going to put you in a frenzy. Nine of Swords. I'm going to keep going. Some of y'all are going to be very worried, but you know what? That's by design because they're trying to get you to build your own. 